And off we go right on to the first map here of this best of seven. Keep that in mind. We could potentially have two extra maps here as we're getting right into the action. Yeah, you saw SMP kind of take out, uh, take each lane, but now they've kind of conglomerated. Just gonna go help us see it. But that's basically been the target for too easy right off the get go. Yeah, Shax went down without a fight there. No real damage done on the side of SMP, but too easy already losing one of their key players, losing only a few points as we're at 33 to 28. Again, this first match will be to feel out what the strategies are going to be for each uh, for each team going forward because it is a best of seven, so there is a lot of time to make up for ground. The scores are really close, but the orbs are it going in the favor of Too Easy at the moment. Yeah, but SMP don't really need to fight for that. They're going to get this monument rather uncontested here as they get those extra points on the board. Unless it gets stolen, no, they do manage to get it without too much of a fight from the side of Too Easy, who are playing a very passive game, not really engaging too much with SMP and instead controlling those objectives. They do have six orbs to the two of SMP. Valandir here kind of taking off Kankata. It seems like an easy fight here, but Valandir just bounces out of this. Like, no, we're not trading hits just yet. Probably gonna wait till the end and try to get as many kills as possible. Maja over there is being flanked with Sia to try and help out, but haven't gotten a kill there. But it does indeed go down and has to respawn. You see the lightning comes in from Sia. He is going to be able to pick up the one kill onto Valandir, so... You can tell in the beginning of this first map already, it does feel like Team SMP have the lead here. You can see it in the points as well. Sia seems unkillable, even through all of the hurt that he has taken so far. Yeah, it's going to be interesting the Logos play here, because if SMP get it, which it looks as though they will, Too Easy are going to have a mountain to climb. Oh, Too Easy steal it in the last second. Valandir with that last second steal, and suddenly, Everything is turned on its head. It's too easy. Have a 13 point advantage with one minute to go. And Valandir was taking a look at what had his sights dead on Sia, but couldn't finish the job there. And is now flanked by Butter, trying to regroup and see what to do from here. Shaq goes down though. Yeah, you can see that SMP are fighting back immediately. You can take the Lagos with 70, 80 seconds left, and that's no guarantee that you're going to win the map, especially against a really strong team. I don't think Sia has died a single time just yet. I'm not sure that his team has really either. Um, you know, a couple times here and there, but just slowly but surely, SMP are once again taking the lead. I mean, it's kind of crazy that Sia hasn't taken the Lagos. Valandia has. Yet Seer is right on the heels of that point total of Valandir. Seer is just an absolute monster right now, especially when Too Easy group up the way they have. And the damage is just rolling in from Seer, who continues to lay down the hurt while Maja and Pankata try to clean up the scraps. We get Lion in there. Valandir is down again by the look of it, if not on a minuscule amount of HP, but is back up. They're just hunting Shax right now. You saw that, like, with SMP, most of their points have come from PvP oh. fights. It's 93 to 87. Two One seconds. second. Oh, they get it right at the end. A team will hold on. SMP. And that was a little bit scary. You know, they yeah. were very much in the lead, very comfortably. And here we go. Keeper of the Relics for map number two. Of course, we're going to be alternating them as we have been all day. That's going to be the format of all of the tournaments for all of the regions here for this Ramones Championship. So on to game two and we'll see what the strategies, uh, which strategies come out and how they change from the two teams here on this new map. The initial uh, engagements have been just bring the blisters down as like, much as we can and then make sure we hold off till the end, see what we can do in the end. And now we're gonna start to see a lot of the player kills happening. Yeah, Shax is very, very low. Will he be able to survive and continue to lay down these pain? the pain here? He is getting the Monument of Battle down as well in the center, but Valandir does drop and is the first player to drop on the side of Too Easy. And I mean, Orb Control still is in the side of SMP and just continuing to build up on this lead, but Too Easy do get that Monument. SMP is getting all the right 2v1s right now. They took out Valandir. They're looking to try and take out Butter at the point as well. Uh, Butter just engaged too much, and there it is. This is 3v1 there. Yeah, Butter definitely bit off more than he can chew as he goes down in a 3v1 situation. But that does open up Shaq's 
and Valandir, if they could get some of these orbs that are spawning around the field, if they can try to find positions, they will be great going into the later stages of this match, but they are slipping further and further behind in both kills and objectives. Again, Valandir caught in that pinch and just got knocked out there. Shax and Butter trying to regroup and trying to stick together and maybe see if they can maybe take out Maja or Sia. But you can look at SMP's point totals and they're all very close and up there. And it feels like Shax is the only one that can avoid the onslaught right now from Team SMP. He's sitting at full health. He's played very passively. This could mean that Team SMP have a better chance at this Lagos as uh, they are getting onto it. The Ballista taken down and the Lagos will go to too easy. A huge point jump in their favor. Yeah, but look, Valandir has nothing left. If he's caught out here trying to escape with the Lightning, couldn't really use that offensively. And he is in a world hurt, but does get another kill. Valandir is on an absolute mission here. He has one minute left. He needs to survive. He needs to hold on to the points and has to hope that Shaxx and Butter can get more points on the board, but they are so far in the lead right now as Valandir is found out. Trying to find out where he is. He's very low. Is he going to go down? He's He's having a bit of pain over there. SMP definitely took some time to restart just because they had a minute left and now they're trying to take out oh, the puzzle. But with a lot of health there now, not sure how this is going to go. They still do have the Ballista to kind of work on though. SMP still has a chance to kind of get back into this, but they have to knock out Valandir. And Valandir is just not getting caught. Yeah, I mean, even with the Ballista, they'll still be down in points. That's the problem they're facing right now. SMP need this kill on Valandir to try and get back into it. Shax and Butter will not be enough as we enter the last 15 seconds. We can see Shia is on the hunt. Gets more points, but it's gonna be enough. Valandir using every skill possible just to get out of dodge over there. It's getting caught, oh, but... Oh, man. Yeah, just getting out, getting the heal there too. Got 600 at some point. Yeah, and just like that, the Void Knight shows her power. <laughs> you cannot catch her. Also, that Salvation coming in, and so clutch. We go back to Temple Raiders here. Let's see who can take this one. SMP was able to take it the first time. Got a little bit close at the end, but still able to hold on to the victory. SMP always starts off with taking the three lanes, and as the first Duke just come in back together and circle around. I think they try to bait uh, too easy into a fight, and their Valandir is taking a lot of hits from Azo there. Yeah, it seems like the the initial back and forth was like pressure Sia, try to make Sia out of the game, get it so that we can control at least a few of the orbs that are just spawning around, but they just cannot seem to capitalize on that. Pankata is trying to escape with his life here, but Butter goes down, Valandir is almost out. Shax, Shax is almost, is down, almost too. down too. An absolute team wipe here for SMP, who are in the driver's seat of this one. Again, Sia and Pankata trading off kills over there. Maja doing his business there, trying to get the damage done, but too easy, just kind of got wiped all in one go. And they have to regroup and make sure they know what to do next. Maybe focus on Pankata, maybe focus on Sia, but they can't seem to get a 1v1 there or 2v1. Well, at least Shax is able to take down the monuments here, and you can see they're chipping away, but now Shax has taken a bunch of damage, so it's not going to be easy. It looks like Team SMP almost angry after that last loss on the map. So, Sia, once again, you know, he's low. He actually nearly goes down, but he will survive for now. Shax is definitely carrying the team with a lot of points there, but just having it a focus that makes you a target, as you can see right there. Mazda just went in, and Sia went in just to try and take him out. Yeah, and Shia is still trying to fight. Being around the Lagos might not be the best when you have this much HP because you might just get caught by an interesting AoE that just gets planted on your face, but he is still up and around. Shax is in the face of the Lagos, but is slowly getting defeated by the damage around as we see the Lagos starting maybe to be the target here for both these teams. Pankata's almost down, Majo's almost down. This is a great way to turn it around right now instead of focusing on the Lagos, because the Lagos still has quite a bit of health there. Yeah, definitely taking much more time to try to focus this down. Pangata just kind of waiting in the wings, but he Pankata is goes going down. to go down. And now in the lead here is too easy. SMP really needs this Lagos, but we'll see if they can get that last hit. Who's going to get it? No, it goes to too easy again, as they are taking the lead big time in this game. 
Zandir Bandit. taking out Maja there. And not just that, also throwing out the chat to easy macro there. Like, Valandir is on absolute fire right now. He was having a very, very quiet game up until that Lagos spawn, where he just kicked it up a notch and started to lay on the points for himself. He has 68 points. The closest on SMP is 16, who oh, just seemed to be crumbling on this map to the power of too easy and just like that it's still going their way Shax has 43 points butter is racking up the points as well and it has all gone wrong for smp it's too easy look as though they're going to close this one out with the last 10 seconds remaining smp in disarray now they're just kind of going rogue and trying to take out whoever they can but it's not working out valander doing well Shax doing well butter doing well that is great teamwork that we saw right at the end there where they defended the basically they defended the payload and go no you're not yeah. coming near them oh man that was the most one-sided victory i feel like we've had